Ah, hello fellow knowledge seekers. I was just busy trying to figure out my first move in chess. You see, there are 169 octillion ways to open in the first 10 moves. What's octillion, you ask? Well, imagine a one with 27 zeros behind it. Yes, mind-boggling to think of the possibilities. But enough banter. My name is Ignatius Scott, and I like to talk to you about inventions. You see, not all inventions have to be mechanical. Yes, some inventions can even be clothing. Presenting the Mormon Undergarment. It's a type of underwear worn by the Latter-day Saint movement. It is required for people who have participated in the endowment ceremony. They are required to wear these garments day and night as a constant reminder of their covenants they made in the temple. Nothing wrong with a little dedication to your faith. Personally, I couldn't do it. I can't stand to be in the same trousers for more than seven hours. Now, these garments also provide protection against evil and temptation. Tales are told of LDS members being saved in car wrecks and natural disasters because they were wearing the clothing. Now, the reason they are white is because white is the symbol of purity. Mormons seek spiritual and physical purity. The cut and length of the outfit is designed to promote modesty. Obviously, no low-cut dresses will be worn with this thing on. You can see it has evolved throughout time in order to mirror changes in clothing. Well, that's about all the underwear talk I can handle, folks. I like to keep my boxers patriotic. Long live the queen, if you know what I mean. My name is Ignatius Sky, law master and keeper of the crypt of knowledge. Now, if I do the Sicilian opener, I can't do the French opener. Ah, Bobby Fisher, you old dog. If a man gets changed into a lion, does he become a lie man? Or a lion? Or what about a dog? Does he become a dog man? Or a dog man? Kind of like a centaur, but a centaur dancer. Yeah.